على طول بنتساله ايه هو انوفا بروف احنا فيرتشوال اونلاين سكول بمعنى كلمه سكول احنا عندنا ستاف كبير من اي تي ستاف اوبريشن ستاف تيتشر طبعا ستاف كبير جدا خليني برضو اعرض لحضراتكم نص يعني نسخه بسيطه عن كياننا نفسه احنا عندنا تيتشرز في كل الفيلدز ستارتنج من جريد 6 لحد جريد 12 من اول كل السبجكتس سواء كانوا ساينس بالبرانشز بتاعته بيولوجي كيمستري وفيزكس انجلش ماث ايفن العربيك الايدكسال والكامبريدج والحمد لله عندنا ستاف كبير من مدرسين خبره ومدرسين على ذو درجه علميه كبيره جدا جدا بنعرض كمان الفاسيلتيز اللي بنقدمها لحضراتكم السيرفيس بالتكنولوجي عاليه جدا عن طريق البلاتفورم بتاعنا واللي هنسيب اللينك بتاعه على الشات ان شاء الله برحب بيكي دكتوره هدى زي حضرتك حضرتك سامعيني كويس؟ الخير ازاي حضرتك يا دكتور هدى؟ الحمد لله تمام اهلا بيكي اسفه جدا لتعطيل حضرتك بس حبيت بس اجاوب على جزء صغير من اسئله الناس عن no. انوفا نو بروبلم اهلا وسهلا بحضرتك بس حابه اضيف اي حاجه اخيره للناس ان اي تساؤل بيبقى عن طريق الواتساب جروب بتاعتنا اعتقد الكل فيها وهنرفعها برده اللينك بتاعنا على الشات هنا عشان تبقى افيلبل لاي حد حابب يعمل بوكينج للكورسز او يعرف تفاصيل زياده. ثانك يو سو ماتش. اتفضلي يا دكتور هدى انا اسف. Um, good evening. Good evening. انا حبيت بس ان انا ارحب بيكم كده أشو... يعني تشوفوني. Uh, باذن الله هنبدا ان شاء الله مع بعضينا نستعرض الاول البيولوجي كريكلم الاول اوف البيولوجي عباره عن ايه؟ تمام وهنعرف together we will recognize the skills required for all level biology. Okay, okay. Um, I need the first of all to share with you. Contents of our syllabus, our actual our skills. Okay. And uh, you needed to know the papers and the overall chapters we need, okay, to finish our course. Our curriculum, low IGCSE, syllabus code as you see, not zero, nine, seven, okay. And the grading system here goes from nine to one. I don't know if you know about this, Okay, but uh, I will talk about the grading system here or in some countries in the Gulf areas. Okay, you have the grading, numerical grading system and showed it that's much better than the uh, letter one. Okay, nine and eight are considered A star. Seven is considered an A grade. Six and five is considered a B grade and four is equivalent to C grade, okay? Uh, if you are joining our university here in Egypt, okay, nine and eight are A star, and they are converted to 100%. Seven is considered an A, and it is about equivalent to 95%. Six and five are B grades, and for if you get a six, this means that you got 88%, if you get a five, this means that you got 82%. And if you are unfortunate to get the four, it is 70%. Okay. Again, I repeat, our syllabus code is 0970. The syllabus is valid for June, November 2021 and 2020, uh, 2020 and 2021. As far as I know from Norhan, that you are inshallah joining the june 2021 so let me talk about the assessment in um, o level biology okay assessments here goes in three papers paper two and it's a multiple choice question okay 
It has a time duration of 42, uh, 45 minutes. Okay, it has uh, 40, uh, 40 marks, takes about 30% of the overall grade. You have 40 multiple choice questions, okay? And it's gonna be based on the extended subject, actually the core and supplement, okay? Uh, the word externally uh, uh, assessed means that the paper is going to be marked there in Cambridge. Paper four, and it's about one hour and 50 minutes at exam duration. It makes about 50% of your mark. The raw mark, it, the 80 marks means this is the raw mark for it. Okay, 80 marks, and it's about short answer and start check questions. Also, it's based on core and supplement. Paper six, this is what we call alternative to practical. This is instead of sitting to practical exams. Okay, it's time duration during the exam is one hour. It constitutes 20% of your mark. It has a roll mark of 40. You need to know something that you have a raw mark, a total raw mark of 160. But your papers, okay, after being marked by Cambridge, okay, they will be readjusted again so that it can be calculated out of 200, okay, meaning that um, your paper six mark stays at the, as it is. Your theory mark, its time was 1.5, as well as that of paper two. Okay. Let me go through some topics. Okay, first of all, Tawan, you know this is the microscope we're going to deal with. Okay, this is the light microscope. I will refer to it again. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, um, I need to go out of this data show for a moment because I need to go through our curriculum, the topics. So that I can go through, um, yes, Farah. I see that Farah raised the hand. Yes, Farah. I'm sorry, Ferris, I'm sorry. Ferris. بيس انا بس كنت ع... كنت عايز اسال هو الشغل هيبقى هيبقى على طول كده اونلاين ولا احنا هنروح مثلا نحذف نحذف في السنتر اي ثينك اتس اونلاين ما فيش ما فيش سنترز اوبننج ناو دايز ممنوع اصلا يكون في سنترز شكرا ميس يو ويلكم سو ذا سيرفيس كونتنتس First of all, we're going to discuss characteristics and classification of living organisms, characteristics of living organisms. Then we will discuss organization of the organism, as well as movement into and out of cells, mechanisms such as to move into and out of cell, you're gonna we discuss diffusion, something called osmosis as well as active uptake of such type of molecules. Okay. Then we're going to discuss biological molecules, 
enzymes, plant nutrition, as well as human nutrition. After finishing human nutrition, we're going to discuss transporting plants. And then also transporting animals, diseases and immunity, gas exchange in humans, and respiration. These are two different topics. Excretion in human, coordination response, then drugs, reproduction, inheritance, variation and selection, organisms and in their environment, biotechnology and genetic engineering, and human influences on our ecosystem. 21 chapters. Your journey starts at characteristics of living organisms, and we will end on the human influences on ecosystems. It's not that hard to do, but it needs from you to be um, alert for any sort of following up so that you may achieve the star grade that you need. Okay, let's start our journey. When your cells are visualized using light microscope. A light microscope, as you see, uh, uses this elect, this lamp, white light, so that it is focused on the specimen we should put here, okay? And you use those optical lenses to help you visualize a magnify objects. Suppose that I have taken a sample from your cheeks. I use the swab and I, I rubbed your cheeks from inside your mouth. And then I took a sample and stained it. What do you see in front of you? These are cheek cells. Okay. What do you see here? Ferris, are you still there? Ferris? Yes. Are you still there? What do you see here, Ferris? Just describe. Huh? Just a description. You see some circles? Uh, yes. Yeah. You see this? I okay. I I'm drawing it now. You see this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you see a dark, a dark blue circle. Okay. This is your, the these are the cheek cells. And the dark blue one okay, is a very important part of the cell, which is the nucleus. A cell has a cell membrane and a, a fluid-like structure, okay? Actually, it's a jelly-like structure. This is what is so-called a cytoplasm, okay? And this is what we call a typical animal cell. Do you see any other details? Actually, do you see the cytoplasm clear? No. No, it's granulated, so it's not clear. Okay. Why don't I see more details? Because I need, yes, I needed to use what is so-called electron microscope. At this moment, the issue is totally different. We use an elect we use electron microscope, which uses a something called electron beam. Okay, which flows through this vessel. Okay, and is focused on the specimen inside. There is inside of this vessel the specimen, and you will see the screen the, the image now on a screen, not using an eyepiece like that of light microscope. But if you use, yes, 
تستخدم اللي هي اللي نحط عليها ضاي عشان توضح السوق اكتر لا اللي هي اللي فاتت بس اللي فاتت بس هي ايوه انا بس انا بقول على اللي فاتت دي بس أيوة. بس هنا لازم نستعمل ستين هي طبعا في الحقيقه ما هياش ستين تمام برضه there is another type of staining موجود هو موجود هنا في الالكترون مايكروسكوب بس غير اللي احنا بنستعملها مع لايت مايكروسكوب once I use electron microscope I get this image oh now I got more details isn't it now yes. I see an organelle called mitochondria and this is what a, we sometimes we call it the powerhouse of the cell why do I need a powerhouse why do I need all this okay let me go out of this um presentation okay because we needed to clarify a lot of things okay what i needed to clarify is is that any organism that is judged to be living must have seven characteristics I always abbreviate them into the word uh, actually Mrs. Gren what is this yes M for movement R for respiration s for sensitivity g for growth r for reproduction e for excretion and and for i hear it i hear it huh somebody call it saying nutrition isn't it so yes marlene yes marlene are you there marlene is gone okay so uh, again to judge you as a living organism you need to have these seven characteristics this is why i cannot commit that virus is a living organism virus is not a living organism at all because viruses only reproduce they don't move they don't respire they don't respond to a stimulus they don't grow they don't they, they reproduce but they don't feed and they don't excrete ميت هما اصلا يعني ادم هما ما بيعملوش بس البرودكشن هما بيعيشوا على البرودكشن بس في الفيروس اللي بيموت بيكون عمل بيديوس لفيروس ثاني بس هي دي طريقه العيشه هو يعني هو طريقه العيشه ان هو جاست ريبروديوس لو هو طلع برا الهوست اتس نوت ليفينج اني مور ان اتس يوزينج ذا هوست ماشينري عشان تو ليف عشان تريبروديوس اوكي سو ليتس يعني توك مور اباوت ذا كاركترستكس نيوتريشن or feeding any living organism needs this feature needs this characteristic this is why what is nutrition to obtain food or 
more precise nutrients necessary for the metabolism of living organism. Okay. Yes. هو ده منهج اي جي صح؟ امال ده منهج ايه؟ ماشي انا عشان بس دخلت غلط يعني انا كنت بس شفت بايرج فقلت اخش لكن انا ما كنتش اعرف يعني ده ده اي جي انا منهج يعني عادي سوري؟ نعم؟ معلش مش مش سامعك؟ ايوه بقول انا كنت شفت بايرج فقلت هخش لكن انا ما كنتش كملت يعني المنشور اللي هو كان اللي هو ده اي جي يعني انا كنت بحسب ان ده منهج عادي هو حضرتك ثانوي عام؟ اه 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 انت فارس؟ لا لا مش انا مش فارس انت مش فارس؟ امم تمام هو ده هيفيدني في المنهج ولا لا؟ هيفيدك في المنهج؟ امم يعني انت في انهي مرحلة في الثانوية العامة؟ الثانوية العامة الثانوية العامة ثالثة ثانوي يعني؟ اه لا لا ده بعيد عنك خالص انت اللي بنسميه المستوى دي او ليفل امم هي اللي حي... يعني لو كنت عايز يعني يفيدك بس بردك بعيد عنك خالص الاي ليفل يعني لا بعيد عنك خالص ده سكيل وده سكيل دي حاجه ثانيه خالص تمام تمام ف... ف يعني اكيد تفيد استفاده من اي حاجه في الدنيا بس هو الفكره كلها انه يعني اتس يور تايم يعني عشان بس ما يضيعش وقتك بس اني anyway, هو الانترناشونال كريكلم في سكيلز اعلى بكثير من الثانويه العامه امم ماشي شكرا يو ويلكم طب قبل ما اكمل the students joining us are in the international curriculum ولا ثانوي عام برضه؟ لا ميس انا انا برضه ثانوي عام انا في ثانيه ثانوي انت في ثانيه ثانوي اه اه طيب مين ثاني في ثانوي عام؟ وانا كمان يا ميس اوكي وانا كمان دي مين مارلين؟ لا لا نوران نوران اخت فارس اخت فارس علاء اه اوكي هو ايلز؟ معلش طب انا هوقف شويه كده عايز اعرف بس مين اللي معانا الثانويه عامه عشان بس حرام احنا كده بنضيع وقتهم وانا كمان يا ميس مين مارلين اه مارلين طيب احنا كده معانا فور جايز وهو ار ثانويه عامه اند يو هاف اروى وي هاف اسماء اروى واسماء برضه ثانويه عامه لا انا اي جي اي جي اسماء انا اي جي يا ميس دماس رأفت اي جي امس تمام وجودي اي جي انا حضرتك امس انت ايه؟ حضرتك ما حضرتك طب تمام ومي منصور او رحمة زياد منى محمد I'm in the IG section. The same school. Uh, um, are you here in Alexandria? Yes. Okay, which schools? Uh, Ismat Abdel Megid. Just see. Mina Ismat Abdel Megid. But this is my Ismat Abdel Megid. I was like, the IG? يبقى معلش يعني يعني طبعا يعني you are most welcome معانا بس يعني اقصد in this way I'm free I'm wasting your time يعني لا سوري سوري يا ميس معلش مش على اللي عملناه انا اسفين no problem no problem you are most welcome to attend with us at least يعني you listen to some biology okay no problem you are most welcome 
Okay, so um, shall I complete, please? Okay. So uh, we are now discussing respiration. And respiration, we call this a chemical process. that occur inside living cells to get energy. Okay, again, it's a chemical process. Take care, when you take in oxygen and move out carbon dioxide this is called gas exchange not respiration because again respiration is a, just a chemical process occur inside living cells okay Respiration could be aerobic and this means that oxygen is required or takes part of it and respiration also could be anaerobic. I mean that this chemical process, this chemical reaction can happen in presence of oxygen or in absence of oxygen. Again, I repeat, it's a chemical process occur inside living cells. Okay, what is the purpose of it? Getting the energy. Okay, when you take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide, this is called gas exchange. This is not a chemical process. This is just an exchange. And this happens in each and every uh, organism. Okay? Right. Again, let's go back for our characteristics like the X secretion process, which is the removal of toxic metabolic wastes okay like when you give out carbon dioxide this is excretion when urine comes out of our urethra this is excretion when you sweat this is excretion but when you give out feces, this is not excretion. This is what is so-called egestion. Okay? Again, I will clarify. Removal of toxic metabolic... What's a metabolic waste? Means that some chemical processes happened inside the cell and there are some toxic wastes produced you need to give them out. We call this excretion. Okay, now, let's go for the next characteristic is growth, which is the irreversible increase in size or to be precise what is so-called dry mass. Okay, I don't call a balloon where I, where I blow it with air, the balloon is growing, no. But I call when you see your feet when you're young or the size of your shoe when you're, you're young and then you see it nowadays, this is what happened. This is increasing in size, also in your mass. Okay, because you grow more cells. Okay, 
Let's complete our journey. Excretion, growth, and movement. Living organisms move. This is this is changing place. to seek for food or shelter. Okay. Living organism also have sensitivity. What is sensitivity? This is the ability to respond to a stimulus. When you have something like a dog running towards you, what you gonna do? Hmm, what you gonna do? Let me sh see, Mona, what's gonna happen? Um, dog... Maybe run away. You will run away, okay. Yeah. If, I, if I wave next to your eyes, what you gonna do, Mona? Um, maybe bend over or something to yes. avoid your hands. Or blink, yes, okay. So uh, does this mean, is this something just concerns us as human? No, all living organisms. All living organisms. Like Maya, tell me, have you ever seen a plant responding to a stimulus, Maya? Maya, are you there? Maya, Maya's gone. Okay, Judy, are you here? Yes. Uh, who are responding ممكن مثلا لو لو في شيء بيت مثلا وانا حاطه زرع بتاعتي جنبه بس مش على الشمس اللي طالعه منها فممكن oh. بعد فتره الاقيها نالت فهي كده عملت ريسبوند للشيش اللي حصل لها بالظبط كده تمام سو هنا الستيمولس از لايت اند دي ار بلانت زي ما انت قلتي كده موف تووردز ذا ويندو اوكي واتس ليفت فور مي فروم ميسز جران ناو What's left for me? Reproduction? Yes, reproduction. Organisms need to reproduce, oh, actually about living, organisms need to reproduce to increase and keep their kind. If no reproduction means that this organism will extinct. If, if living organisms not reproduce, this means that- extinct. Yes, that they will extinct. Thank you for your help. Okay, so again, if you see on the level of a cell, a cell, I can apply Mrs. Gr Mrs. Gren on it. A cell feeds, a cell respires, a cell can move. Does this happen? Yes. And I will discuss some cells which are moving now. A cell excretes. A cell grow, yes. A cell can reproduce. And a cell can sense. This is when a stimulus affects the cell and they can respond to a, a, a signal sent from the stimulus okay so this is why first of all we needed to examine cell structure and i will return back again to my data show which i was discussing now
Okay, sorry, I paused the sharing. I'm sorry for this. Um, the presentation is not responding. Okay. okay, I'll share the screen again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this. Now it's back. And let me again re-explain what's happening inside here. These are what I can get when I use an electron microscope. I will see the plasma membrane or what's so-called the cell surface membrane and I can see the mitochondria this is where respiration occur actually aerobic respiration and this is what this is why I said before this is the powerhouse of the cell and an organelle called centrioles I will return to it when you, we talk about cell division, this is a, a mechanism that happened during reproduction. And here is the brain of the cell, which is the nucleus. Nucleus controls all the activities of the cell. It contains your DNA, which contains the information for your hereditary material, information for m controlling the metabolic reactions inside your body. Okay? But let's take a look again on if I'm using, yes, if I need to draw a diagram of an animal cell, okay, again, you see the nucleus contains the DNA, which contains the detail, uh, details of in, in, information about you, and also the, all the metabolic activities are controlled by the nucleus. Nucleus is surrounded by, by what's so-called nuclear envelope. Okay. This envelope is connected to a network of membrane. We, they call it endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. This en network of membrane, which is endoplasmic reticulum, we find it, uh, sometimes we call it smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or sometimes we call it rough in the plasmic reticulum. This has smooth in the plasmic reticulum has function of making lipids storing calcium in a lot of uh, calcium, calcium in a lot of circumstances but in rough in the plasmic reticulum this is the factor where proteins are made you make proteins inside your cell by the help of tiny organelles, we call them ribosomes. Again, inside in the cytoplasm, you find mitochondrion, and as I told you before, this is the site where aerobic respiration occur. Okay, you may or you may not find something called a vacuole. There are also vesicles called lysosomes, okay, which are needed uh, later on when I describe the function of uh, a type of white blood cells called a phagocyte. Also, you find a Golgi body, okay? 
this is where you modify the proteins. It helps the endoplasmic reticulum to make the protein reach its final structure, uh, final uh, shape. So no cell, no cell, okay, can live without having a nucleus, a mitochondrion, an endoplasmic reticulum, a Golgi body, and a ribosome. Okay, no cell in the UK, in the uh, higher organisms cannot live without the those things I mentioned. Okay, let's take a look. If I am using light microscope to observe some plant cells, what you see in front of you is a sample of onion epidermal cells as viewed under light microscope. What do you see here? Hmm, who would describe for me? Hoda? Hoda Luis? Hoda, are you here? Are you here? Or Damas Rafat? Damas? May? Where are you guys? Maya? Judy? Nobody's answering. Arwa? description. Okay? وليلي انت شايفه ايه وان شاء الله يا رب توصفي لي اشكال وليلي انت شايفه ايه دلوقتي شايفه ريكتانجلز صح وايت مش كده مايا مايا ريز ذا هاند يس مايا اي كان سي ذا بلو وان از نوكليس ذا وايت ذس بلو سي مش كده تمام شايفه اي تفاصيل ثانيه مايا السلول اه يعني شايفة كده انه في عندنا كده two lines مش كده؟ yes يعني بتكلم على سلول يعني انت قلتيها كده من الذاكرة انت كنت جريد 9 يا مايا؟ اه انا في جريد هدخل لسه جريد 9 لسه مخلصة جريد 9 طيب فأنا شايف أي تفاصيل تانية؟ وأنا ما دخلتش جريد 9 أنا لسه هدخله هتدخلي جريد 9؟ على فكرة بس مايا أنا آه اللي احنا بنقوله دوت كور واكستندد ها؟ Can I say that the cells are uh, completely stacked together? Yes. جميل جدا. And you see some circles here هما represent the nucleus like what you saw what you said now. Yeah. Okay. Type. Look at this image when I used electron microscope. What do you feel? Hmm. What do you feel? That you, there are more details than you believe. Shkira? Yes. Yani, again, Malish, I will return back to the previous slide. I don't see other details. You all told me that there is um, double line there is a cell wall there is a blue circle which is the nucleus and that's it it's like nothing else is there inside the cell together like in rot i had the same specimen and i used electron microscope okay we saw more details we saw that this is the nucleus Oh, what is this? It's too large than I believe. And I can see this part, which is called 
the vacuole. This is the nucleus, and this is the vacuole. And what are those? Okay, there are other membranous organelles other than the mitochondria, and because this is a plant cell, this is what is called chloroplasts. Okay, so electron microscope enable me to see more structures than those seen under light microscope. Okay. Please, you can ask the question. Dali. Um, مش مش دي هي نفس صورة السلة اللي قبلها بس تحت ال ال الالكشن مايكروسكوب. آه بس أنا هنا بصراحة أتفلي سيت سل خدت سل من الليف عشان أشوف ما. أصل هي في الصورة اللي فاتت ال الكلوروبلاس مفروض يبقى لونه أخضر وهي كانت بينها على أزرق شوية. بالضبط كده. فكان شكلها غريب شوية بس. شكلها غريب فعلا. تمام؟ طيب. يعني أدي ديجرام عشان إلستريت الجنراليز بلانت سيل. تمام؟ طبعا ده كده أرت فاكت يعني كده حد رسمه عشان يشرح لنا الموضوع. إنه أجان ده بلانت سيل زيها زي الأني مثلا عندها نوكليس. أكيد زي ما قلنا فيها رايبوزومز. فيها جولجي أبراتس. فيها كمان سموث إنتو بلاسم كريتيكلم باي ذا واي سموث إنتو بلاسم كريتيكلم I can abbreviate it use loma the first three letters دول and I can write it like this S E R and R E R stand for rough endoplasmic reticulum R E R okay the function of SER is a more lab the storage of calcium calcium ions SER also is for making of lipids where, by the way, for some or, uh, organs, as a liver, but still, في عملية detoxification. لو كان في toxin, أنا اتعرضت له. شغلية ال SER بتشتغل معنا في detoxification. لكن ال RER mainly is for protein synthesis. عشان أقدر أعمل proteins inside the cell. تمام؟ طيب. زي ما قلنا, ما فيش living cell مش هيبقى فيها nucleus. ولا رايبوزو ولا اس اي ار ولا ار اي ار خصوصا لو كانت من النوع اللي بنسميه يو كاريوت لان ده النوع السنز اللي عندهم نيوكليس النوع السنز اللي عندهم نيوكليس بلانت سيل اللي هي اليو كاريوت زي زي البلانت سيلز اما البرو كاريوت اللي هي زي البكتيريا ما عندهاش ما عندهاش بالظبط كده والانيمال سيلز ما فيش حد من دول مش هيبقى عنده الحاجات دي. نوكليس رايبوزومز اس اي ار ار اي ار وجول جي ابراتس. اوكي؟ لكن في حاجات مخصوص بتاعت البلانت سيل زي مين؟ زي الفاكيول خليني بقى اشاور عليها بالاخضر عشان نحس انها بلانت زي الفاكيول زي الكلوروبلاست طب في حاجه ثانيه كمان انا غفلتها ما قلتهاش. سيلول برضه اه السيل وول بالظبط برافو عليك سيل وول يس تمام اهو سيل وول طب عايز اسال سؤال وات اباوت ذا مايتوكوندريان ها موجود في البلانت سيل بس او في الانيمال سيل لا موجود في الاثنين عشان هي للسايتل اوف ريسبيريشن دي اه دي موجوده في الانيمال والبلانت برضه ده موجود في الانيمال والبلانت والرايبوزومز والاس اي ار برضه في الانيمال والبلانت والار اي ار والجولجي بادي او جولجي ابراتس في الانيمال والبلانت سيلز تمام والسيل ممبرين موجوده في الاثنين ايوه ممكن برضه الفاكيول بيختلف لان في الانيمال سيل بيبقى تمبوري لكن ده بيبقى في البلانت سيل يس اوكي ذاتس ا جود جيرل تمام؟ And here's the nucleus when I see it 
under light, uh, electron microscope, it seems like it's too large. Okay, again, what, I, what, do, what do the nucleus do? This is for making, for controlling cell activities, for controlling the metabolic pathways. So we feed genetic uh, DNA. Yes. Where, yeah, uh, control by the cell division. Cell division, yes. Did you continue grade nine? لا هو هو أنا الصراحة جريد ناين أصلا. أنت جريد ناين أصلا. أوكي. أنت you are starting grade nine. Yes. Good. طيب اللي إحنا شايفينه قدامنا دلوقتي ده، okay زي a diagram for mitochondrion. ده كده in single طبعا plural mitochondria the mitochondrion this is the place where on the aerobic respiration occur okay طبعا as you see هي عندها double membranes تمام وجوه هنا الدنيا مش فاضيه ولا حاجه في الماتريكس ديت عندي زي مولكيولز ذات سبيد اب الرياكشنز الموجوده جوه الميتوكوندريا اوكي طبعا الايروبيك ريسبيريشن از ا فيري لونج ميتابوليك باث واي علشان كده يعني احنا لسه في الاولى ما بنتكلمش عليه ان شاء الله كده لما نكمل او في منكم ناوي يكمل الاس او الاي 2 هيعرف تفاصيل الاروبيك ريسبيريشن بيحصل على ميني ستيجز تمام لكن تعالوا بقى نشوف بقيه الاورجانيلز او تعالوا نشوف شكل الميتوكوندريا تحت الالكترون مايكروسكوب الموضوع مختلف تماما صح دايما صور الالكترون مايكروسكوب ار بلاك اند وايت جوه الميتوكوندريا ممكن الاقي فيه دي ان اي ده طب ليه لان الميتوكوندريا محتاجه تا... يبقى في عندها جينز كنترول الميتابوليك باث ويز اللي بتحصل جواها عشان كده اتس هاز اتس اون DNA طبعا من شوية كنت قلت لكم في حاجة اسمها رف اندوبلازميك ريتيكيلم وسميناها كده لان موجود على السيرفس بتاعها حاجة اسمها الرايبوزومز وزي ما قلنا الاورجانيلز دي بتساعدنا عشان نعمل بروتين سينتيسيس سيلز محتاجة تعمل بروتين فور اتس اون ستراكشر او بروتينز دايما تعمل لها سكريشن يعني مثلا حاجة زي السليفري جلاند ان يور ماوس طبعا دي سكريت سلايفا ايه اللي موجود في السلايفا ده موجود chemicals help me in digestion ال chemicals دي اتعملت by the help of rough endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes تمام وده شكلها diagrammatically لكن تعالوا نشوفها كده تحت الالكترون مايكروسكوب اهو membranes زي ما انتم شايفين membranes structure اهو كل دي membranes تمام وال membranes دي عليها نقط كده صغننة هي دي الايه يس yes. وطبعا لانه البروتين وهنتكلم عليها بعدين ان شاء الله في الشابتر بتاع البيولوجيكال مولكيول محتاجه يكون في فاكتوري مصنع بيشتغل علشان يعملها لان هم فيري لارج اند كومبلكس مولكيولز تمام ادي الرايبوزومز بالتفصيل دياجرام بيبسطها ان هم عباره عن اثنين سب يونتس طبعا لما كبرت تحت الالكترون ميكروسكوب عرفت ان هو مش مجرد نقط اوكي الالكترون مايكروسكوب على فكره يقدر يديني انورمس ماجنيفيكيشن انا ممكن اوصل بالماجنيفيكيشن ل 500000 تايمز واقدر اشوف اورجانيلز زي الرايبوزومز دي واشوف تفاصيلها تمام طيب برضو من ضمن الاورجانيلز اللي بتساعدني في ان انا موديفاي البروتين بعد ما يحصل له سينثيسيس في الار اي ار اللي احنا بنسميه جولجي بودي او يعني مسموح لي احفظها كده او اللي بنسميه جولجي ابراتس اوكي طيب نروح بقى مع بعض كده طبعا اجان اهو ادي جولجي ابراتس بعد ما بيعمل لي البروتين بي باكت فيسيكلز ويعمل لي اورجانيل مهم جدا اسمه لايسوسومز ودي 
ليها شغل قوية جدا جوه الوايت بلاد سيلز دي مثلا المنظر اللي احنا شايفينه ده في لايسوسوم عمل فيوجن مع الحاجة الخضراء دي دي بتعمل فيوجن مع بكتيريا وتكسرها بحاجة اسمها هيدروليتيك انزيمز رجعت تاني انا كده اخدت سامبل من ليف سيلز وشفتها تحت اللايت مايكروسكوب ايه اللي شايفينه مع بعض دلوقتي؟ كلوروبلاست الأوان الخضراء دي كلها كلوروبلاس أنا شايف أي تفاصيل تانية غير فيها نقط خضراء؟ لا no. خالص مش كده؟ yeah. طيب لو رحت جبت بقى الإلكترو مايكروسكوب واتفرجت عليها أوه ده هلاقي فيها تفاصيل قوية جدا ده أنا هلاقي فيها زي ستاك أوف ممبرين بنسميه جرانم ودي اللي بيبقى عليها الكلوروفيل مولكيول اللي هيساعدني ان انا ابزورب صن لايت اوكي تمام تو ميك فود باي فوتوسينثيس لا بقول ابزورب صن لايت تو ميك فود باي فوتوسينثيس يس يس طبعا انا هنا في عندي حاجه زي فلويد كده اسمه ستروما لانه الفوتوسينثيس ده بيحصل على مرحلتين شيء يحصل على الجرانا وشيء تاني يحصل على الاستروما وطبعا لما نروح للشابتر بتاع البلانت نيوتريشن هنتكلم فيها تاني. اوكي؟ بس انا حبيت اوضح هنا دلوقتي لو انا اتفرجت على البلانت سيل دي في لايت مايكروسكوب this is all I get just green circles مش كده؟ but if I use electron microscope I see more details تمام؟ طيب نيجي بقى نتكلم هو كل الدنيا بلانت uh, سيلز فيها كلوروبلاستس ولا الانيمال سيلز زي التشيك سيلز لا احنا عندنا سم سبيشاليزد سيلز زي ايه؟ زي حاجه بنسميها روت هير سيل الروت هير سيل دي موجوده فين؟ موجوده احنا ادي البلانت اهو الروت ذا اندر سيرفيس اوف يس تمام كل الفانكشن ايه هي الفانكشن اوف روت؟ To absorb water and minerals from the soil for the plant. Of course. So to absorb water and minerals, it needs to increase surface, surface area. area. Yes. And do you see, like, if the root herself have it extended this, this is what is called a finger-like projection. Okay. And if I am using electron microscope, I will see a large number of mitochondria. And why you have a large number of mitochondria to produce oh, to energy? Yes, energy. Okay, this energy I needed for the uptake of some ions from the soil. Okay, you see this uh, root hair cell is surrounded by soil. تمام? In the soil there are some nutrients like the mineral ions. And the uptake of such mineral ions, it needs a lot, a lot of energy. This is why it has a large number of mitochondria. Okay, so unlike any other plant cell, I see this extension. I see a large number of mitochondria inside the root hair cell, okay? So this is something unique about those epidermal cells in the root, okay? Let's go for another type of plant cell. You, they call these xylem vessels. Do you see any organelles inside the xylem vessels? No. No. These are hollow and no organelles because they are dead cells. Yeah. Okay. Because they act as vessels to deliver the water transport up to the rest of the parts of a plant. Okay. Again, can I call this a specialization? Yes, of course. Another mm. type of cells, they call it. Guard cells of stomata, of stoma. What's the stoma? This is, this is the stoma. 
This is an opening for gases to enter the leaf. You need, the, you need an opening for gases to be exchanged from the leaf to the outside. And those are like gates. This is why we call them guard cells. You see the shape of the guard cell, how they look like? Yeah. They are kidney shaped. So what is the modification has been done now? It is making those cells as like a kidney shape, okay? This is, uh, uh, if you observe more, the uh, cell wall here, it's much thicker than usual, okay? So this, those cells, when they absorb water, they swell and close and close the stoma completely, okay? And this happens in some circumstances. Okay, another modified cells is the plant palisade cells, which contain found, found in leaves. Yes, which contains a large number of chloroplasts. Yes, yes. they are found in leaves. Because they're more exposed to light so that they can absorb the maximum number of light for photosynthesis. Of course, yes. Tamam. So, as you see here, I can find cell wall, a nucleus, cytoplasm, a large central vacuum. In addition, you have plant palisade cells. Plant cells, we see a lot of examples for modification. Also, in animal cells, there are some specialized cells, like red blood cells. If you see the red blood cells, you will not find the nucleus inside it. And you always see it red, okay? If you try to examine structure of red blood cells, there is no nucleus at all. No nucleus. To leave more space to carry more oxygen. You see, no, no, no. It, uh, uh, but take care. It, the space is not for carrying oxygen. The space for the red pigment called. Yes, hemoglobin. Yes, that carry oxygen. Yes, this is the magic molecule that can carry the oxygen. So, red blood cells have no nucleus to give more space to fill instead a lot of hemoglobin, okay, because this is the molecule that can carry oxygen. Okay, another specialized cell within the blood cells, okay, what we call phagocyte. Phagocyte is my strong soldier that engulf the bacteria and microbes. What do you see in a phagocyte? Do you see the nucleus, how it's shaped like? Nucleus is lobed. It's not a one piece. Okay? And if you take a look at the cytoplasm, it contains a large number of what is so-called lysosomes. Okay? Of course, I cannot see the details because I have taken this image using light microscope. Okay? If I yeah. need to observe such organelles, I have to use electron microscope. Okay. Another specialized, yes, this is how phagocytes do their function. Okay. First of all, they get close to the bacterium and they, they extend their uh, uh, cytoplasm to surround the bacterium and then it engulfs it. Okay. And it starts killing it. Okay, using its own lysosomes. Okay. Another specialized cells called ciliated cells. Okay. Ciliated cells. It's in your airways, in the airways. Like in your trachea or what's so-called windpipe. 
and it's also in your bronchus. Okay, it has cilia as you see, not like any other animal cell, it has cilia. Okay, those cilia make wafting movements to move the mucus up your, your throat so that you can get rid of the microbes. It's one of the lines of defense against diseases. This is how do they look like under microscope. Do you see? What's yeah. number three indicates? Could you label with me? Number yes. three. Number three is cilia. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I scroll the slide. <laughs> okay. Now, what is number three? This is the cilia. Cilia. And what's number one? Is it the nucleus? Yes, it is. And also number two is uh, nucleus. nucleus. Okay. Teacher, in the light microscope, do they add the color or is it naturally colored? No, it's not colored. Yeah. It's not colored. It, we color yeah. specimens so that we can make them visible. Yeah. The only colored cells are the red blood cells because the presence of the uh, hemoglobin. Yeah. Red big. Yes, they are red. See, again, I'll return to the red blood cell. They are red because of red pigment. Yes. Another specialized cell is the sperm cell. Okay. You see, unlike any other cell, the uh, it is like sig have segmented parts. The head. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I, I scrolled it by mistake. The head thing, which contains the nucleus, okay? The neck part, which has a large number of mitochondrion. And you have something called tail that help the sperm to move, sperm move. So of course, we need a large number of mitochondria to help it move, okay? It's a mobile cell, it moves. Okay, and the presence of tail to help it in movement, and you have a large number of mitochondria to give it the energy for movement. Okay. And we go for the last modified cells, which is called a nerve cell. A nerve cell, there is part like a wire here called the axon. And this wire is protected or insulated by the myelin sheath. You know what? If you see a wire of, of any apparatus in your home, okay, it is uh, contains copper copper um, yeah copper wire surrounded by plastic yeah. Okay? You know, the electricians are surrounded by plastic to make insulation so that you're not get hurt when you touch it, okay? Yeah. Also, we have this mining sheet, not, not to be, get hurt, this is to insulate the nerve impulses that go through this ner nerve cells because you know what? This is what we need to communicate between the brain and your muscles, your brain and your glands and so on. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is everything I'm just with so far? Yes. Okay. So I'm now done with my lesson. And by this stage, we are done with the cell structure okay and i hope that you got benefits from this i'm recapping again what we said today that we have seven characteristics we abbreviated them as mrs Graham. we talked about viruses i cannot consider them living organisms okay mrs Graham is an abbreviation of the seven characteristics movement respiration sensitivity, growth, reproduction, nutrition, and excretion. We went through which, uh, for each term, what does it mean? And then we went to cell structure and we examined 
the general cell structure of any animal cell, a plant cell, and we went through some um, specialized cells that help any organisms to do their function because an organism is made of organ systems which is made of tissues and which are made of cells. So it's like we talked about the building block of your body. Many cells having the same function makes it tissue. So a tissue is a group of cells have similar structure, not similar shape, similar structure to help to make a tissue. Many tissues together make an organ system, uh, sorry, an organ, and there are organ, make, many organs make an organ system which in turn constitute the structure of an organism. Understood. Could you give yes. me an example of, a, of, of, um, of an organ in a plant? The stem or the leaf. Yes, like the leaf, like the root, like the stem. Okay. Could you give me an example of an organ in animal tissues, animal cell, uh, sorry, animal, uh, in animal, yes? Huh? Um. Arteries. Arteries, yes. Heart. Heart. A stomach. But could you give me an example of a system? Circulatory system. Circulatory system, yes. Or system. digestive system. Yes, 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 yes. Those all system makes organisms. Okay. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed. Yes, and I hope it's beneficial for you. It was nice meeting you, everyone. Um, Judy, Mona, uh, Demas, Odawis, Maya, Muhammad, uh, sorry, Muhammad Asal, and Sir, <laughs> Nurhan, and Thank you for joining me. Thank you, teacher. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.